Point of personal privilege. The delegate has the floor. Mr. Speaker, I thank the gentleman from Fairfax for rising in opposition to gun violence because I think every one of us here oppose gun violence. And I'm not going to speak against the Second Amendment because I support the Second Amendment. And I'm not going to speak about guns because it's not guns that kill people. But what I am going to say that the enjoyment that is derived from shooting people is birthed in the human heart. And I am going to say, and I want to address, when he said, Mommy, Daddy, the question I have for Mommy and Daddy, are you ready to take those video games away from your kids that you have purchased for them for their entertainment? Can you understand of a child starting at four or five years old who sits in front of his computer for hours and shoots people? I have a 28-year-old son who has a television as big as that podium. And he sits in front of that television when he comes home from work and plays video games for hours. He is a guy in his fantasy world who's running around, jumping on Jeeps, jumping on the backs of tanks, jumping over people, jumping on motorcycles, jumping on buildings, and shooting everybody in his path. And if you don't think that that plants the seeds, not only a fantasy, because children are playing fantasy games too, you watch. You watch what your kids are looking at on the video screen, on the Babylonian idiot box. You watch. Yes, computers are a force for good, but they can also be used for evil. And yes, gun violence is evil. It is, and we're facing it. But we continue to let our children, we hand them the videos, we hand them the cell phones, and those cell phones, televisions, and videos are babysitting our children, and we do nothing about except get up and rant about gun violence when one of our children runs into a school and acts out his fantasy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for allowing me to have a say in this.